Hello and thank you for this wonderful opportunity to come to you today and spend these few moments in God's Word and pray with you. We're talking about marriage preparation and uh, it comes as a way of learning for those who are preparing for marriage and as a reminder for those of us who are already married about what God has spoken and taught us in His Word concerning marriage. We've been looking at Genesis 2 and verse 24 and we will go to it once again today. In Genesis 2 24 the scripture tells us, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. And we said that the scripture, although the subject here is the man, equally applies to the woman because both the man and the woman are entering in to that married state or being married. And so everything we've said about the, the man also applies to the woman. There is the leaving, which we spoke about. There is the cleaving, the readiness to be joined together. And then it says they will become, they shall become one flesh. Meaning, in a very practical way, one flesh, meaning in this natural world, they're going to become one. There is a sense of union, coming together of two lives, melding together of two individuals. Now, of course, it does, not, it does not mean that these individuals cease being individuals. They are two separate individuals, of course, spirit, soul, and body. But in the way they journey through life from that point on, there is a coming together, there is a union, and there is a oneness in everything. And that is something we can, must prepare ourselves for. Now, sadly, in a world where uh, there is so much of independence that is advocated, there is so much of self-reliance, self-dependence that is promoted, this becoming one actually is a very difficult thing for many people. It's a novel idea, but to live it out in real life is something tremendously challenging for most people because we are so accustomed to independence, we're living alone. We may be in a crowd, but we are independent. We make our own choices, we fight for our own rights, and we insist on our own way. And uh, we think, uh, you know, any form of yielding, we, we think it's a violation of our freedom, and it really is not. And so we don't think in terms of yielding, accommodating, adjusting, adapting, surrender. Those words and those ideas are very foreign to us in today's world. But marriage requires all of that, the becoming one of two individuals in practical ways means that we learn to adapt, we learn to celebrate differences, we learn to enjoy uh, each other's uniqueness and, and we celebrate that and that should draw us together, not drive us apart. So it takes a certain amount of maturity, it takes a certain amount of understanding to celebrate differences, to enjoy differences and to actually leverage our differences to bring us closer together. But remember, that's what marriage is. It's a journeying together, it's a becoming one flesh in very practical ways of two people who've been uniquely and differently designed by God, a man and a woman, coming together in holy matrimony before God, making this journey of becoming one in very practical ways. And God empowers us to do that by His Spirit, by His Word and the wisdom and understanding He gives. Be ready for such a journey. And for those of us who are already married, that's the journey we are on. Let's enjoy it. Let's pray. Father, help us as we journey, or for those of us who are preparing for that journey, you give us the grace to learn how to be one with our spouse. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.